Alright, so here's everything you need to know before the third season of the Umbrella Academy. Alright, let's go. On October 1st, 1989, 43 women gave birth who weren't previously pregnant. So, it's a little weird. We then have this guy who's definitely not an alien, but is definitely a billionaire, by the name of Sir Reginald Hargreaves, by seven of them. How much do you want for it? That should already tell you that these kids were going to have a great time. Seven kids that he bought were given numbers. Number one is Luther, who has super strength. Number two is Diego, who can bend anything he throws, but he prefers to throw knives. Number three is Allison, who can rumor anybody to do anything. She prefers not to use it. That's stupid. Number four is Klaus, who can commune with the dead. I see dead people. But he prefers to do drugs and not see dead people. Number five, who's arguably the best character in the show, if I do say so myself, can not only teleport, but he can also time travel. Number six, also known as Ben, is dead. But when he was alive, his stomach is a portal to a tentacle monster that will grab and kill you. Number seven, Vanya, was led to believe that she had no powers. But she actually do have powers, and I'm just gonna say her powers are telekinesis. But it's not that simple. Anyways, with the introductions out the way, here's what happens. After getting tired of his dad telling him that he can't time travel, Five goes off and time travels. Doing so, he gets trapped in the future where he finds out that the world ends. He then grows old in that future and is rescued by a person called The Handler, who's an agent of a place called The Commission. The Commission basically monitors time and makes sure what's supposed to happen happens. If you're a Loki fan, they're basically the TVA. Anyways, after years of killing people for The Commission, Number 5 realizes that he's being lied to and travels back in time to stop the apocalypse. When he travels back, however, he gets trapped in his old body, which is why he's a kid. He lets his family know that the world is gonna end and they need to stop it, but none of them really care. Also, Reginald Hargreaves unalived himself to get the family back together. Doing so leads to a chain of events, which is that Klaus, the drug addict, comes back and steals one of his belongings, which contains Reginald's notebook. In this notebook, which was stolen by Leonard Peabody, we find out that Vanya has powers. Leonard then uses this information to get Vanya off her meds and use her powers. But Vanya then spirals out of control while using her powers and unintentionally mutes Allison. Luther, who is in love with Allison, locks up Vanya, which actually makes everything worse because Vanya goes crazy and breaks out. After breaking out, she unalived their sentient ape, Pogo, and their robotic mother, Grace. The family then bonded together and goes to stop Vanya, but trying to do so causes the apocalypse because Vanya destroys the moon, which causes it to fall down to the earth and destroy everybody. Five, realizing that everybody in his family is going to die, decides to take them with him to travel to the past, which brings us to season two where they all land in the same place in the early 1960s, but in different times. Klaus lands first and is stuck with Ben's ghost, and ends up starting a cult. We then have Diego who gets put in a psych ward. Luther is just Luther. Allison gets married to a guy by the name of Raymond. Vanya loses her memories and gets taken in by a local family, where her and the wife Sissy fall in love with each other. Number 5 is the last to arrive and he arrives in an apocalypse, where the world ends in a nuclear war caused by his family. He is then saved by a commission agent who defected back in season 1 by the name of Hazel. Hazel tells Five that the world ends in a few days and is unalived before he could say more, by three Swedish brothers sent by the commission. Five then sets out to find his family and stop the apocalypse once again. But that's where everything gets very complicated. You see, they find out that their dad is alive and they go to meet him in order to stop the apocalypse. But he hated every single one of them except for number five and made sure that they knew that he hated him. This is a fantastic delusion. The sad reality is that you're a desperate man, tragically unaware of his own insignificance, desperately clinging to his own ineffectual reasoning. More succinctly, a man in over his head. You were wrong. Five then goes to make a deal with the handler who was supposed to be dead but is actually very much alive. And we find out that the handler has a daughter by the name of Lila, who Diego met and fell in love with in a psych ward. Anyways, Diego was able to make his way into the commission, which is now led by the handler thanks to a deal she made with Five. Diego, with the help of a commission agent by the name of Herb, finds out that Vanya is the cause of the apocalypse. Diego then, with the help of Allison and Klaus, goes to stop Vanya. They couldn't do it. Instead, Ben sacrifices his ghostly self to save Vanya. So, rest in peace, Ben. But with that, they were able to stop the apocalypse. But nothing could be that simple, because earlier in the season, Vanya saved the life of Sissy's son by the name of Harland. Doing so somehow gave him powers. The handler hears of this and goes after Harland. With the help of her daughter Lila, she made easy work of the Umbrella Academy. I heard a rumor. You stopped breathing. You see? Yeah. Yeah. That's how it's done because it turns out that Lila is one of the 43 kids born on that special day. And she's able to mimic anybody else's power. 
and she was about to kill number 5 because she believes that number 5 kills her parents. But as it turns out, the handler was the one who ordered number 5 to kill her parents. So that automatically makes her worse. The handler then unalives Lila and everybody else in the Umbrella Academy. But number 5 played an Uno reverse and reversed time. Doing so, he's able to save his family once again and stop the handler from killing Lila. The handler is then unalived by one of the Swedish brothers that she had tricked earlier. Lila then runs away. And we find out that Herb is now the temporary head of the commission. Sissy then moves away with Harlan after Vanya believes that she took away Harlan's powers. But she didn't because we see Harlan making a wooden sparrow float. Number 5 and his family then time travel back into the future. Oh that's why they call it that. Where they are greeted by Sir Reginald Hargreaves who is definitely an alien by the way. And tells them this. This is the Sparrow Academy. The season then ends with them finding out that it's a whole new class and that Ben is alive. But he sounds very mean. And yeah, I hope I answered all your questions, but if I didn't, be sure to leave a comment. And also, if you liked that video and want to see more like it, leave a like and subscribe. That's it.